Hello Aries. Hope everyone's doing well. This is a love reading for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aries. And let's see what the overall energy is in your love reading. Is the Queen of Wands. Aries, there you are in your reading. Big woman on campus or big man on campus, however we say it. Okay. So we're only looking at your person. We are not going to look at your energy at all. You know what your energy is. I don't need to tell you. So we're going to look at your person's energy around this relationship, okay? So we have the Fool card, a new beginning. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is clarity and truth. The Page of Swords is somebody spying on you. The Seven of Swords says somebody is has some motives that are not quite very nice my friends seven of swords is the card of the thief and a cruel thief it is so that's in the recent past two of swords your person is not wanting to hear anything that you have to say right now they're fighting off the truth the crows come in with messages birds are messengers this person is totally closed off to the things that you are trying to uh, make a point to them. Ten of Wands says that your person is really feeling like they need to move on from you. They're very sneaky also. Um, when we get the Aquarius card, it's like this person wants a new beginning, but it looks as though they're not planning to have that with you. How do they feel in their heart space about you is the star card. They feel as though you're, you are their wish fulfillment. But the five of wands is Leo energy. And it says that this person feels as though there's always a war going on. There's always an argument beneath the scenes, overtly, covertly, uh, very overt for the most part. But that's Leo energy, Aquarius energy. The Ace of Wands is that this, you know, excuse me, the High Priestess is the meaning that your person really loves you. They feel as though there's so much that could happen in this relationship that would be positive. But right now they're not seeing what they think are the necessary items or the necessary attitudes for the relationship to succeed. So the strength card says they still have fire in their belly for you. It's interesting because it's it's almost as though they're leaving, but they're still there. It's almost like this person psychologically is in this space, which is sneaking around, not always telling you the truth, not always being forthcoming, but they want the relationship because they want the new beginning. They know that you're the one, but the two of swords and the ten of wands and the five of wands really speaks to the fact that they don't want to hear this argument. And if they keep hearing the argument, they're going to leave. Now, do they plan on leaving? No, I'm not seeing them plan on leaving. Um, but the strength card is a card of Leo energy. This is Leo energy. So there's some egotism. Um, but the strength card is the infinity symbol, so it really speaks highly to the fact that your person plans on sticking around. So let's go ahead and see what we have here for clarifiers. So your person is, you know, it looks like they like the relationship, but whatever fighting is going on, they're not happy with it. The Knight of Swords, yep, there we go. The message is, please stop, can we just start over? Can we have a new beginning? Can we have clarity? Can we move forward without the fight? But the Knight of Swords usually is somebody who has something very important to say or they think it's very important to say. They, Your person thinks that you're very impulsive because that is the impulsive Knight of Swords. Communication that's very impulsive, oftentimes cutting. So your person sees that they want a new beginning, but... They feel as though the truth could be told without cutting, running with scissors, so to speak. Why is the Page of Swords here? King of Cups, okay. So your person really loves you. Uh, I don't think they often tell you. The King of Cups is an energy of somebody who's very successful, somebody who takes the throne and is quite happy about it. 
but when we see the page of swords card we're seeing somebody that may on the outside be kind of immature i'm getting the energy that you know they spend a lot of time on the internet and they do look at you the seven of swords what are they lying cheating stealing about <laughs> sneaking about ten of coins that is wealth abundance so they're not really telling you sort of their the story of their net worth i mean not that anybody owes that to you because they don't but your person has a lot of money i would say that they've done very well for themselves and they do not share why do we have the two of swords what is it this person doesn't want to hear eight of swords or eight of wands oh nice this is nice okay so right now i would say that your person has cut off or diminished or dimmed down the passion in the relationship the eight of wands says that your person has a lot of passion for you but they withdraw from you when there is any conflict I'm getting, you know, this person doesn't want to hear anybody with a message. Don't tell me anything. La, 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 la. I have my ears. My fingers are plugged into my ears. And, you know, yes, I want you. However, I don't want any drama. I don't want any messages. I don't want to hear anything that I don't want to hear is the message I'm getting from that. Okay, so the Ten of Wands. Why is this person thinking about giving up and leaving? The Death card. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense, the end of a relationship. They do feel as though you're coming to a closure in some aspect of your relationship. The death card with the Ten of Wands means that your person's giving up, or they might in the near future. That could happen as quickly as six weeks from now, but again, time is fluid. Why do they see you as a star card and they're happily ever after? Ten of Cups, you're their happy place. I don't think they've ever been happier than with you. That's a beautiful card. Look at that energy. Ten of Cups. That is happily ever after marriage. You know, your person feels as though you could be that person if you didn't argue. Oh, my God. I don't know who you're dealing with, Aries, but they seem to be someone who's pretty fragile. Okay. Or peace loving one or the other six uh, okay the lovers card so a choice has to be made your person feels as though they have competition like they don't really have your heart that your heart is with somebody else or there's somebody else that you like as much as you like them so they are feeling very rejected in this connection and they wonder if it's time to move on but again when we see this row this person's not going anywhere because you make them happy. You are their lover. The Ace of Pentacles, they want to make an offer. Your person really wants to take this whole conflict thing out of the picture. That's what I'm getting. However, your person also keeps a lot of secrets, including all the money they have, the abundance, money, whatever. You know, it, it means the Ten of Pentacles is like a really, really beautiful home. And this person looks like they're saving up for it, but they're not really telling you. It's not such a bad Seven of Swords energy, but this person is definitely always going to keep their financial interest uh, a secret. They're, they always will. Look at your outcome card. A double Leo, Sun card, Strength card. This person could not leave you if their life depended on it. Well, I don't want to say that, but, but you know what I mean. Okay. So the energy here is that they, well, it's, it is what it is. It's very simple. I'm not going to repeat it. You know, the reading is a very straightforward reading. So what I see with this person is they're hanging around for the good stuff. They're not necessarily a big contributor. They feel as though you create a really, really happy environment for them. Probably the best in which they've ever been with a caveat of they don't like friction. They don't like arguing you're probably dealing with a very placid earth sign. You know, Capricorn will kind of fight back, but actually the earth signs do not, for the most part, like to fight. They like to get things done. So I really feel like that you're with an earth sign because of this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see what the Moonology deck has to say for you here. What do you need to release? Okay, 
So Aries, what the cards are asking you is what do you need to release in terms of conflict? The five of wands, a competition, the, t you know, the, the three cards that are problematic, well, four, is the seven of swords, a person keeps secrets about money. I don't think they share money. I think they take advantage of any situation that they think can benefit them. And, but, you know, they sure do. Look at this. We have this eight of wands. They're holding back on their passion because they get angry with you. And it looks like they get angry often. It looks like it's ego driven. If anything ends a relationship, they feel it is the fighting. That's exactly what would drive them away. But the death card is here. So in the near future, that is something that they are seriously considering. So I'm going to leave it there for you. Thanks so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure.